Those who died on Pan Am 103 were students, bankers, soldiers, many flying home for the holidays. We asked Jim Axelrod to speak with the brother of one of the victims about the significance of Gaddafi's death. Oh, he was just 21 for nearly 23 years, the families had been waiting for this. Families like J.P. Flynn's. You dream about a day like today. Flynn was a 21-year-old college student who perished aboard Pan Am Flight 103. Today, his younger brother Brian couldn't get enough of the news. All of a sudden, the man behind it all, the one who started it all, Muammar Gaddafi, was killed vividly. We got to see pictures of it and videos of it. And part of me wishes I didn't have the reaction I, I did, which is, yes! Flynn, the oldest of four children, the captain of his high school basketball team, has been dead now for longer than he was alive. What we've tried to do is put it together. Right Over the years, his family kept the pressure on the U.S. government not to forget the victims. I made a commitment to him when he died, and I'm, I'm hopeful that, you know, he would say good job. What's weird is that it, he would be 43 years old today or this month, and instead of him saying, um, you know, good job as a 43-year-old, and I still picture him saying good job as my 21-year-old big brother. This year at Arlington National Cemetery, as they do every year on the anniversary of the bombing, John Patrick Flynn. The Flynns will join others who lost loved ones that day. This December 21st will obviously be a very different feeling around, around Arlington. I don't know how we're going to work champagne into a memorial service, but maybe it's time to try that a little bit to celebrate. Finally, a new emotion to join the grief they feel every year. Jim Axelrod, CBS News, New York.